What is up everybody? Thank you for coming back to the channel for today's video. In today's video, I have one $30 Kronos toy mystery box that I will be going over in this video. I did buy three total boxes from their company. I did end up buying one of the $50 ones and two of the $30 ones, which they were the $29.99 and then the $49.99 one that I bought. But today, I'm going to be unboxing the $30 one. Um, I did end up getting them in today, and when I'm saying that this is Tuesday, I think it is Tuesday... Well, now it's Wednesday because it is 1.29 a.m. in the morning, but it is Wednesday, January 22nd. Uh, but today I'll be unboxing this one here. It's a $30 box, but that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Let's get started. All right, so let's kind of go over the basics um, in the box itself. I'm going to put up a picture in the video as I'm going along reading this little uh, picture. Uh, I always take screenshots of the uh, the boxes because they do take them off their website and I don't want to be that guy that doesn't have that photo. But yeah, it says limited to, uh, time event, Kronos Toys 2020 New Year Damage Box Clearance Sale, limited to three per customer. I don't know why I read that, but average return from $60 to $100. I have been seeing a little more than that in some of the videos as well as like the, how many, same of the, uh, some of the pops that they've been pulling have been the same, but I'm just going to be okay with what I get out of these boxes because I mean hey if you're getting over the value you paid for it that's what's a win in these boxes thank you Kronos Toys for that but uh, I'm gonna pull up the picture here just to show that there's a Sorcerer Mickey, uh, Sorcerer Mickey and Chernobog 2-pack SDCC, Masto Chaco, Tiny the Tiger Funko Shop, Cheerleader Deadpool SDCC and in the All Might Glow Funimation. Let's jump into this box I'm gonna make y'all stop waiting I'm gonna grab a knife and see what we get in this bad boy. I'm going to open it up. And there has been a few pops. I mean, I've watched so many people get their boxes before me. Um, a lot of it, uh, a lot of the pops I think, I do like some of the pops. That, I mean, really, really like some of the pops they've been pulling. Like the Icy uh, Polar Bear, or Icy Bear from the $50 boxes, as well as there's some Dragon Ball ones that I've seen pulled as well. I mean, there's a lot of giant ladies. I do hope I get one. If I am going to get one, which I I am going to probably end up getting one, it's the gold chrome giant lady. The other ones, I'm not, eh, it's okay. But we will accept what we get, or I get. But I'm going to try to open this up. Bubble wrap wasn't really taped on there. Uh, there's a six inch. What is this? I'm going to pull it out. And it is, oh wow. So we're starting off with the glow in the dark Game of Thrones uh, Night King, I did pull this out of another box. Um, this one uh, does have a little bit of damage, like some scuffing on the actual rim here of the box. But other than that, this is the glow in the dark overseas uh, Night King. I will probably be ending up like either doing this as a giveaway, possible mystery box in the future, but there's a rip there as well. Um, but there we have it. It is the glow in the dark. Night King. And let's grab the next one. This is, I actually do like this pop. Uh, I love the glow pops. The ones that they do bring out. They have been doing some fire glow pops here recently. Here's another one. Oh. I actually don't think I have this one. I do. Not have this pop. I don't think. The number 301. Yes, I do actually have this one, but it looks a little bit different. So I may, yeah, I do actually have this pop. I'm a huge fan of uh, Independence Day. I definitely will be keeping this one. And I see that there's a Pop Life sticker. I have been seeing a lot of those on all the pops that are coming out of these boxes. I guess this is what, I mean, this is pretty much their clearance. But this one, I love this pop. I love the box. Uh, I love Independence Day. I love the second one. I mean, that's my opinion, but there's the back of the box, the ones that come in there. I actually don't have the Jake Morrison one, I don't think. Uh, I do have the Jake Morrison, I just don't have the David Levison where he's older, I don't think. I have so many pops, I need to keep tabs on them. But there we have it, we have the Alien Warrior, and let's see what the next one is. And once again, this is a $30 box that we are pulling from, and the return value is from $60 to $100, but I have seen more been the value been pulled, but here we have, okay, so I just saw uh, my buddy Dr. Poppenstein, 
Uh, he pulled this out of his Chrono Toys mystery box. And if you haven't seen his channel, make sure you go check his channel out. Super awesome guy. He does the same thing, mystery boxes, uh, does all kinds of pop stuff as well. Go check out his channel. I'm definitely going to pull up uh, his channel here. Go check it out. And he did pull this out of one of his boxes. I do like this pop. It is kind of one of the cooler ones from the Star Wars line. Uh, the rugged red on black. That is a awesome pop here. And there's another the Pop Life sticker. I kind of like holographic stickers. They're kind of cool, but that one was randomly placed on here, which kind of makes it look cool. But this one's on the back. I have seen it on the back, the bottom. Um, let's see what we get next. But they're shoved down in the bottom. Oops. Ooh. Actually, don't know if I have Nebula. Um, this one has a little bit of wear and tear on the box. Uh, definitely looks like it's an older pop. It looks like it is from 2015, January 2015. But there we have Nebula. And as I go, of course, I always tend to put the prices down in the corner. There's a lot going on here. This box is kind of huge. Um, let's kind of move that over. There we go. But there we have it. We have Nebula, number 76. I do like this pop. Probably ending up, I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Garden, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite movies. Um, uh, out of one and two, I definitely like the first one. And the second one I do like as well. But uh, on the back, I do have the Thanos. Uh, I don't know if I have any of the other ones on this one. I think I may have the Ronin. I do have a specialty series of him. But there we have it, Nebula. The box is super scuffed up as well in the plastic. I don't know if y'all be able to see that on the camera. Oop, if I don't just drop my phone and knock it off. But there we have it. Nebula with the... It's like, it's okay. I mean, I'm not too... You know, the box is fine. I mean, it's older pop. It's going to have uh, shelf wear. And let's see what the next one is. I have seen this been, uh, been pulled several times. It is the Injured Daryl 100 from The Walking Dead. Which... I do like this pop. I mean, I don't really collect Walking Dead because there's so many in the series. And this one's Edition 4. Um, it does have a little box damage on the bottom here. There's a little indention. There's a crease there. The The screen has a little bit of wear and tear. But there we have Injured Daryl. And then the ones that come in the series. I keep getting too close to the camera. So that's definitely an awesome pop. Um, I do like that he's all bruised up, bloody, and there's an arrow sticking through his side. That's kind of cool. This would be a cool out-of-box pops for sure. And let's reach in there. I think we are down to the last 4-inch normal pop. And let's see what we get. Oh. I can't remember. I don't think I have pulled this one. This one is a Naruto Shippuden uh, Sasuke. Curse Mark. I mean, I'm not a, I haven't watched Naruto. I ha I'm not a huge anime person. I mean, I do pull a lot of anime and they do end up going to my girlfriend, but there we have Curse Mark Sasuke. Um, I'm not 100% sure if we actually have this one in our collection. Doesn't look like, uh, appear to be too much damage in this one, on this one, but except for the back, it's kind of got a lip on it and there's some pulls on the edge of it where it's kind of peeled away a little, just a little bit. But yeah, we'll probably end up keeping this one as well. I'm already telling you right now, there's some good value. I know this uh, independence... Oops. What did I just do? Oh, there we go. I know that in the uh, this one right here, the Independence Day is not really expensive. I don't know about Nebula. I do know uh, the Night King has some value. But I'm going to stop uh, talking and get that last pop. I did see that it was a six cents or feel that it was. Let's see where the front's at. Make sure there's no other pops. And what do we get? We got the Silver Giant Lady, which I'm okay with. There's a lot of people pulling these. These boxes, every box that I've seen pulled from this line were extremely mint, um, for sure. But I do like this silver one. Now that I actually have it in my hand on the camera from people pulling it, I don't know if I showed this yet. I've just been looking at it. But yeah, there is the Silver Giant Lady. This is the Asia exclusive. I like how it says 100% on it, the sticker. It's 100% Asia. But there we have the Legendary Creatures and Myths Giant Lady, the silver one. I do actually like this pop now that I am seeing it up close and personal versus through all the videos I've watched of this thing. Um, there in the back you have the literature. Don't really plan on going over that, but 
so far this box is super mint and I am okay with that. I paid $30 for seven pops, one being a six inch. And so uh, what do we have? One, two exclusives, but they're overseas exclusive. But once again, I paid only $30 for the box with $12 shipping. I'm pretty sure I made back my money within here. Um, but I'm gonna move the box off top, make there's nothing, make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, by the way, when I did get these, I posted on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on there, it's derping with Derek on Instagram. I uh, posted a picture when I got home. All three of the boxes were soaking wet with water. Just, it just they were like soggy. But luckily, these boxes were super thick and uh, able to keep the pops from getting damaged. As you can see here, they weren't. None of them had water damage. But that's okay, cause I'm all, I'm all right with that. I was super nervous opening these boxes, opening that one, cause I was like, oh no, it's gonna be soaked and the pops are gonna be ruined. But they weren't, thanks to Chronos Toys. Chrono Toys, I always mess that up, for the thick box and it not getting wet. All right, so that's all the pops that I pulled out of the box here. I definitely think I got my value back. I'm gonna put the value up here. I also have one more shout out uh, and another announcement. I have one shout out to God Ear Pops. If you have not seen his channel, I'm going to put up his name somewhere in the, the box here so you can go check out his channel. Super awesome guy. He always gives me a shout out in his videos. Super fun to watch. He has lengthened videos so he can go through a lot of information that he does in his videos, which is super cool. Go check out his channel as well as always like and subscribe. If you do like their content, that's one of the things that I like to push, you know, in my videos is because not a whole lot of people are engaged in some of they just like the video or they don't interact on it. I like when I get comments. That's super awesome. I go down in there and I respond to everybody. But I have one more announcement as well. It is I I applied to be into the Funko Collector Society and I ended up getting into the club. That is so awesome. Thank you guys. If you're watching this video, thank you so much for accepting me into the Funko, uh, Funko Collector Society. Well, these people are amazing. They help, they support, and that's what I'm all about. It's like, I'm so excited that I did get into the uh, Funko Collector Society. I said that like three times now, out of excitement. Um, just excited to be a part of such an awesome team. And these people have supported me. Some of the people I've already followed and people who followed me, thank you so much. But I'm not done yet. Which pop in this box was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think I should do in my next couple videos other than just mystery boxes. Kind of find out something so I don't have to keep spending all the money on mystery boxes. Sometimes you don't get your uh, return value because I don't end up selling them. But if you did like, please like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell down on the bottom to get my videos when they first come out. I will see y'all in the next video. Later. <laughs>